For this video, I want to show you how to use the TI-84 graphing calculator to find um, each of the following trig values. All of these are in radian, so you do want to make sure that your calculator is in radian mode and not degree mode. I will do another video that shows you how to work with degrees. Um, for all of these values, these are all values that can be found as exact values on the unit circle. So if you are looking for exact values, some of these you will have to use the unit circle to find them. I do have a video that shows you how to do that. Um, so make sure you look for that if that is what you need to find. Um, with this in your graphing calculator, it is important that you know the reciprocal functions. Sine, cosine, and tangent all can be found in the graphing calculator. Um, for secant, cotangent, and cosecant, you do have to remember that these are reciprocal functions. And secant 3 pi over 4 is equal to 1 over cosine of 3 pi over 4, so you do have to plug it into your calculator that way. Make sure that you do not use inverse cosine, which is cosine with a negative 1 in it, because that's solving for the angle measure and not um, the secant. Cotangent, remember, is the reciprocal of tangent, so we would have to plug this into our calculator as 1 over tangent negative pi over 6. And then cosecant, um, remember, is 1 over sine. So we would have to plug this in as 1 over sine, 5 pi over 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into my calculator and I'm going to plug in a, b, and c, so sine, cosine, and secant. Um, sine of 11 pi over 6, cosine negative 5 pi over 6, and then for the secant 3 pi over 4, we're going to plug it in as 1 divided by cosine. Um, and then I will come back and write the answers, and then we'll do the following three. So I do have all of these written down on my paper, so I'm not remembering them, but I do have them down on a paper in front of me. All right, so for the first one, it's sine 11 pi over 6, so we're just going to simply find the sine button, and then we're going to type in 11 pi divided by 6. Make sure that you know if that there is any kind of operations in the denominator that those would have to go in parentheses. Since we just have the 6 in the denominator, um, we're okay to enter it this way. So sine 11 pi over 6 ends up giving us negative 0 0.5. So that one is an exact value. You could also write this as negative 1 half. The next one we were asked to find was cosine of negative 5 pi divided by 6. And for this one, it is an approximate value, so this is negative 0 0.86602540038. Typically, we round to either three or four decimal places in trig, so just make sure that you look at it at your homework to see how many places you need to round to. So I'm going to round this to four when I do write it out. Um, and then the last one before I go on to the next one is tangent, and so we would find tangent of pi, um, which does end up giving us zero. So to write these down, the first one is negative 0 0.5 or negative 1 half. You could write it either way. This one is approximately negative 0 0.8660, and I just rounded to four decimal places because that's the default um, that is typically gone to. And secant 3 pi, actually I did tangent pi, so I went to the next one. So we're going to write down tangent pi this gives us zero. So now we're going to do secant, cotangent, and cosecant. All right, so our next one is secant 3 pi over 4. Remember for this one we would do 1 divided by secant. The reciprocal is cosine, so we would do 1 divided by cosine of 3 pi divided by 4. And this ends up giving us negative 1.4142, so again, this would be a decimal approximation. The next one that we had is cotangent of negative pi over 6, so we would write this as 1 divided by tangent of negative pi over 6. And then the last one that we had was cosecant, which would be 1 divided by sine of 5 pi over 6.
And I just realized I forgot to verify that I was in radian mode. I already checked before I started the video to make sure that I was in radian mode. Um, but it is really important that you do check your mode on this. Um, if you aren't getting the same answers as I was getting, hit the mode button and you will see that it's in radian mode. Just to go back on the last one to show you what happens if it was in degree mode, that you would get a very different answer. Um, if you were working in degrees, notice that if I just go back up and I just up arrowed, um, let me just, because some calculators don't allow you to do that, let me just hit second enter, and it'll type in the last thing that I put in. Notice it gives me 21.892.99296, which is a very different answer. So always check to make sure that you are in the correct mode. So again, all of these were in radians. That is the default setting. So if you were picking up your calculator for the first time, it will be in radian mode. Um, but if you are working in degrees, that you do need to change that. All right, so let me write down these final answers. This is a very easy process because all you are doing is just plugging it into the calculator and then the calculator is evaluating it for you. Okay, so the secant 3 pi over 4 is approximately negative 1.4142. Cotangent is approximately negative 1.7321. And this one ends up giving us exactly two. I did want to quickly address this one. If it was cotangent of pi and you tried to do one divided by tangent of pi, notice it will give you an error because you're trying to divide by zero. So um, cotangent of pi is undefined. So just remember that you can't divide by zero. Since tangent pi was zero, one divided by zero is undefined. So it is undefined at that point. So if your calculator gives you that error, it does not mean that you necessarily made a mistake. It just means that it's undefined at that value. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.